Professor Tipler wrote, in 1936, Van Stockham solved the Einstein equation for the gravitational field of a rapidly spinning infinite cylinder. It was shown that such a field violates causality in a sense that it allows a closed timeline to connect to any two points in space-time. This suggests that a rotating cylinder could act as a time machine. The Tipler cylinder actually solved the Einstein equation for the gravitational field of a rapidly spinning infinite cylinder. It was shown that such a field violates causality in a sense that it allows a closed timeline to connect to any two points in space-time. This suggests that a rotating cylinder could act as a time machine. The interesting thing about that is that each human being, the soul within us is a infinite being of energy that is not bound to time. Every single human is a living time machine. And when you think about what's required to create a time machine or to allow time travel, any kind of technology that would allow a wormhole or a vortex to be open, to rip through the fabric of creation, space-time. One of those mechanisms that was able to do that was a Tipler cylinder. But all of the mechanisms that's able to open up a wormhole and allow for time travel, they all resemble what we are as human beings and it's all based upon how divine we are we're being reverse engineered so for example right the tipless cylinder can be compared to the central nervous system the part of us that acts as an elevator for consciousness to travel the different points in time the tipler cylinder is also what we call the barber pole if you ever look at how the barber pole moves, it's like DNA strands. This is the Kundalini energy. You have red and blue. You have blue going up, red going down. This creates a vortex. This is how you get your Pepsi Cola symbol, which is just another throw off from the yin yang symbol, showing you this red and blue or black and white night and day man and woman, six, nine, polarizing energy. Tipler cylinder is a cylinder of dense matter of infinite length. Why is it infinite length? Because the cylinder is formed due to a, think about a tornado tail. A tornado tail is formed via a vortex, six, nine wind. And the stronger the winds get, the longer the tail grow. If there was nothing to stop the growth of a tornado tail being the ground, then the tail could grow indefinitely. If, if we're dealing with a tornado that's being fed an infinite amount of energy or indefinite amount of energy. So when we talk about a cylinder of infinite length, this was told in the Bible as the Babel Tower. Notice that the Babel Tower shapes like a cylinder and it goes up forever there's a math concept called the infinity hotel and the infinity hotel concept it dies into the nature of infinity free energy and how space is infinite so the infinity hotel is a modern concept that would have been taught in parable in the old days. And that's what the Babel Tower was all about. The Tipler Cylinder is basically Tipler reverse engineering the North Pole, which is a rapidly spinning infinite cylinder, AKA the center of magnetism, AKA a hyperboloid. So the Tipler cylinder is a cylinder of dense matter of infinite length, 
rotating about its longitudinal axis. The rotation of this massive cylinder would create a frame dragging effect. This frame dragging effect would warp the space time in such a manner that it would allow for past time travel. The problem with Tipler cylinder is that it would require negative energy for its stability or else it would collapse into a black hole. <laughs>